A magical nanny, enthusiastic chimney sweep, and a mischievous group of children are preparing to make their debut in Bemidji as the cast of Mary Poppins practices their lines before opening night. Mel Meyer gets a sneak peek behind the stage curtains for this week's In Focus. Sweeping the city off of its feet is a Bemidji Community Theatre Group. Mary Knox Johnson says she's been involved in numerous productions for the company. I think Mary Poppins is one of my favorites just because of the storyline and all the technical requirements that go with it. The company itself has been putting on performances since 1981, most recently making a home at the historic Chief Theater. The separate Paul Bunyan Playhouse group also performed in various venues until transforming the space in 1992 with the help of community members. Robert Saxon says this type of theater brings a special flavor and atmosphere to the city. I don't think people realize quite how lucky we are to have the great performers and the great artists um, on stage that we do. Knox Johnson says Bemidji has been very supportive of community theater and the unique opportunity it provides to area actors. It doesn't matter your experience or your ability that we can find a place for everyone to shine and to be successful in the show. Mary Anderson was a theater and opera major in college. While not working as a flight attendant, she fills her time by acting for the nonprofit. Everybody is doing it for purely altruistic reasons. It's because they love to be a part of an ensemble to be up on the stage, to be making people feel good. She says she always takes away something meaningful from her parts and the younger actors learn valuable life lessons as well. And it just teaches them to be involved, it teaches them discipline, it teaches them music. Their passion and enthusiasm takes center stage through the classic story accompanied by beautiful music. It's an absolutely brilliant show and uh, I hope that people come out and, and take a look. This production of Mary Poppins is also an interactive one with the second round of the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious spelling bee happening on November 8th. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.